The last time I played with Lego, I was focused on what it is that stops those born on the bottom of the income ladder, the lowest income Americans, from being able to move up that ladder. But now I want to look at the other end of the spectrum. I want to look at the people who are right at the top of the income ladder, the upper middle class in this top quintile, and ask what it is that seems to protect them against falling down the ladder. Because in social mobility, like much else in life, what goes up must come down. And it's only possible for some people to move into that top 20% if other people are moving out of it. It's necessarily a zero-sum game. If we're interested in upward mobility, we have no choice, as a matter of math, not to be interested in downward mobility too. The question then becomes, how does the person right up here at the top of the income ladder manage to maintain their position, thereby keeping everybody else down and in place? And some of the ways this person does it may be fair, but some of them are unfair. Some of them are about the way this person zones their neighborhood or votes on zoning, the way that we as a society rig the higher education system, all of which means that the people who are up here at the top get to hoard elements of the American dream. We can't have some people who are perpetuating their status at the top any more than we can have some people who are stuck in poverty at the bottom. We need social movement and fluidity all the way across the distribution if we are to have the American dream.